should know how to do 13. Coffee costs two dollars per, per means times pound x at a coffee shop. So y equals to 2x. Um, use an arrow to draw. So here they want you to um, to draw a line that shows the proportional relationship between the number of pounds of coffee purchase and the cost. Okay, so you just need to draw that line. That's all it is. Starts at zero dollar. Starts at zero zero. If you didn't buy anything, you didn't buy any coffee, it costs you nothing. Um, if you bought one pound, it costs you two dollars. Of two over one, if I buy two pounds, it costs you four dollars. Of two over one, of two over one each time. Okay, here you may have trouble with this one. Um, for some of you, for that have not learned substitution or forget substitution. Okay, so what? Um, you need to do substitution here. Um, that means for y, you put in this in there. So here you see the variable y. You put in, you substitute this into there, right there. So your problem is 6x plus three instead of y you substitute that into where y is you get negative two x plus two equals to six okay and you solve that um these are the last two step of his work Joe solved this linear equation correctly. Correctly. He solved it correctly. Okay, so if he solved it correctly, 6x plus it's negative 6x. Notice that he solved it correctly. So these are these are the last two steps of his work. That's correct, that's correct. What is this called? Which statement? Which statement? Um, well, it must be true. Okay. Well, you know this one. It's G, right? It's easy enough. Okay, so drag the numbers here to make it no solution, one solution, an infinite solution. You guys know that. Make sure, make sure you um, simplify this first to do that. Additive inverse. So that gives you 5x plus a negative x plus 2. That gives you 4x plus 2. So you know what number to drag here and here to make it no solution. Remember, no solution this coefficient or rate of change is the same why the y-intercept or the constant is different okay one solution this is different and that's all you need and this can be anything you want infinite solution they're the same each time okay so write the numbers in there most of you know how to do this um, Here, if you guys read and annotate, you should do fine. 16, please read and annotate. See what's being done here to see which one um, is wrong. Please read. Um, John and Kim wrote down two different functions that have the same rate of change. Here's the key. Same rate of change. 
Okay, John's function is represented by the table. Use and add arrows to graph. So we need to, to graph a function that, that should be Kim's. Okay, so they're the same rate of change. So here's John's function. We need to find John's rate of change. Y M equals slope equals y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Here's where a lot of mistakes happen. Okay. x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, that's a negative 1, negative 5. Here people don't change that. So that's 1 plus a 5, negative 1 plus 5 over x, which is x2 is 1 minus a negative 1. That becomes a plus plus, 1 plus 1. That's 4 over 2. So the slope is 2. Use an arrow to graph a function that could be, remember, could be here is the special word Kim's. So Kim's function or Kim's um, linear function can be anything as long as it is the rate of change is 2. So you can start anywhere you want. I'm going to start it at 6. So use a different graph than mine. Start yours at 4 or 2 or zero or whatever. I did plus six. You do something else. Or you can do negative four. You can do anything you want. Not six, okay. Okay, use, use um, the add arrow to graph. You want to graph two system of equations that has a solution of this. Remember, two system of equation is just two lines. So two lines that has a solution of this. So two lines that meet here. Didn't we do this? Anyways, two lines that meet there, that meet at negative 2, negative 3 right here. So any two lines you want. Uh, you can do that. Perpendicular line, like that. Or there's many lines you can, like that, like that. Or Mm, like that, like that, many. It has a solution of this. See, has that solution. As a solution, a solution is where something meet. Okay, on a graph. Okay. Well, you guys know how to write equation in slope intercept form. Y equals to mx plus b. We know b is at 0, 0. That should be 0 here. And then find the rate of change. You're going down 1 over 3. Down 1 over 3. Put that number here, and you have your equation. 
Nah, you guys should know how to do this. This remember, this is greater. Which of the equation represent a function with a rate of change? Rate of change that is slope that is greater than the rate of change of the function in the graph shown in the graph. So make sure you pick one with a greater rate of change than what on here. And that would be it. So find your rate of change here and pick one that's greater. Rate of change is now is slope. Okay, don't forget that.